Welcome or welcome back and I need help at C Square. In this example we have a rhombus. Why do we have a rhombus? Because look here, all these sides are congruent. So this quadrilateral is a rhombus. And we need to find the area and the perimeter. Oh, if you notice this is 13, that means this is 13, this is 13, and this is 13. That's pretty easy, right? Because the perimeter now is going to be 4 times 13, which is 52. We finish very fast the perimeter of this shape, of this rhombus. But what about the area? Hey, for the area, we have a couple of choices, but the easiest one, in fact, the only one in this case, would be to use this formula, which says the area of a rhombus is equals with the product of the diagonals, half the, or the product of the diagonals. So we have one, this is 24, the question is, can we find this guy, ED? Because that's the second diagonal. Now, remember something. The diagonal in a um, rhombus um, are perpendicular. That's the reason I put a box there, or a right angle. And also, they bisect each other. So basically, this is 12, and this is 12. Right? Cut that 24 in half. So now, we have a triangle there. This is 12, this is 13, this is a right angle. Can we find this? And we can use the Pythagorean theorem. x squared plus a squared plus b squared, x squared plus 12 squared equals 13 squared. x squared plus 144 equals 169. We subtract 144. We get x squared equals 125, I'm sorry, 25. So x will be square root of 25, which is 5. So let's go back here. Where is all this stuff to make things? And let's put that information on the picture, right? So what we find out is that this guy is 5. And obviously this guy would be 5. So the diagonal BD would be twice that 5 will be 10. So now we can find the area, right? Because the area would be 1 half, right? The yeah, the first diagonal was given to us, was 24. The second diagonal, uh, we found it, this 10. So we just have to do a simple math. 1 half times 24 times 10. We have choices. I will say to simplify it, if you cannot use a calculator, and 12 times 1 times 10, and is 100. And that's it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to click the like button and come back and see square for more help. Thank you.